uh, <laughs> that you, you probably haven't heard about this on uh, the mainstream media news at all. But this, <laughs> how, how long did we walk? About one hour. Okay, by the way, introduce yourself so everybody uh, knows My you. name is Uri Moyoko. My channel is Uri Moyoko as well. But, um, so I do like a translation video of like English to Japanese. So you you guys might not, not know, but I've been following him. So I just <laughs> realized that he's in Tokyo. So I just invited him and then we decided to do a demonstration walk. Yeah, we're doing this demonstration walk. So this is, this is the World Health Organization uh, pandemic treaty that is being protested here in Tokyo today. And it's unbelievable the, the turnout of this event. Now they were expecting what? 800 people at, yeah, at the beginning? Yeah, about 800. 800 people is not a lot of people, but what turned out is probably in the in the 5, ballpark, 5,000, 3 to 5,000 5, people. It's unbelievable uh, how many people have turned out. I know this is super late for people in Canada, but the lineup, it, it goes crazy. Yeah. Should we try to get into the park? <laughs> Let's try it again. <laughs> so we're gonna try to get into the park. We've walked yeah. around by like four four kilometers, something like that. <laughs> Correct. So we, we're in like a, um, a part of Tokyo called Ikebukuro. And in the park, usually it can hold about 800 people, a thousand people in the park to meet up. The meet up like, space was overflow. And like we, <laughs> we walk around Tokyo and Trust me, like in Japan, it's not really demonstration kind of population. So for us to even have 500, it's like a big deal. Forget about 5,000. So this is a big deal. So I'm so happy that it, Japanese people start waking up. That's right. You can hear these people. It's crazy. Listen, listen to the people as they're coming by. This is only a portion of it. So as soon as we have the chance, we'll head over towards the park. Yeah, where yeah. so many people are, are gathered there. Absolutely incredible. Yes, Sideways Clyde, yeah. It's a, it's a new YouTube feature, so we're gonna try it out, give it a go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's an extra live stream for this week. <laughs> right. I, I just thought, why not, why not? Why not? <laughs> I've got a bunch of B-roll from this. So, it's so great, like it's some, uh, there are a few people still awakening, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, some people are still awake. <laughs> You guys are so unhealthy. So 115 people <laughs> watching oh, wow. right now. Wow, okay, great, great, great. That's great. <laughs> so I tried to do um, YouTube uh, live stream. I'm, I'm like shadow ban in YouTube, so it's like five people. And then <laughs> other, other um, there's co things called Niko Niko Doga in Japanese live stream. And that's like 500 people. Like I'm totally shadow ban and unsearchable in Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah. I'm not very searchable on the Japanese algorithm. No, right? yeah, no yeah. one either. You have like we try to like introduce him to other Japanese people who can understand English. <laughs> Unless you type in "do something, Clyde." <laughs> yeah, yeah, it doesn't autofill. It doesn't autofill at Clyde all over doesn't here. Clyde show up. <laughs> Unbelievable. He has so much of followers. Incredible, uh, incredible. So we can we can cross very now. Very good. Walk into here. the. Great energy. It's Great. amazing. And we are so polite. <laughs> Hopefully we can slip into the park. Yeah. I just want to give people an idea how many, how many people are actually right here. It's crazy. People are lined up on the street, <laughs> all the way across there. They're not yet finishing. <laughs> people are full. We're about to head into the park. Because <laughs> we are done. Oh, oh, oh. Some people rolling and all, a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's a little bit emptied out here. So before, before we weren't able to walk in here, yeah. and <laughs> this was all packed up, but now the crowd's in the center here, so. We'll see if we can see the stage from here because we couldn't before. And so the reason for this, the reason for this is just just like in Canada, there's the the World Health Organization's uh, pandemic treaty, and people are objecting to it. It's 
It's infringing on, on national sovereignty. It's infringing on people's rights to choose what they want to do with their own bodies. And uh, well, we, we, saw, we saw even, we were discussing this earlier, how even Canada's, Canada's government's been lobbying the World Health Organization in order to say that climate change should be considered a form of a pandemic and they should be able to lock everybody down based on, on that. Now we actually have, we're seeing some Japanese, uh, you know, political parties stepping up to the plate and saying, yeah, there's been enough of that. Let's, uh, let's change things. It's just amazing to see so many people come out for such a good, good reason. Scam prison. Say that again. Scam prison. Scam prison. Scam prison. The Japanese 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 prison. We just gotta be careful what we say on YouTube uh, no, about. No, no, this is, yeah. so he's just saying the historical meaning oh. in this park. So this park is a place that it, uh, there is like five top officials in, at, at the, after the World War II. They they got uh, executed here. Oh really? Yeah. So they they were judged by the winner country, like very one directional. Right. They just went to war and then. Oh, so the public executions so of, was, uh, was held in this park. Well, which I didn't know. <laughs> that's, un that's unbelievable. So, it, you know, it's... 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 Someone. Someone's pointing out that there's a Russian flag over there. No idea what that's about. Ukraine, like maybe they're against, like, oh, well, don't, don't push only Ukraine. Yeah, I have no idea. No idea. I don't know why. Normally, you don't see any sort of like pro Russian sentiment in Japan. That's not. No, but it, whomever realizing that, they, they know that it, like, it's disease or bullshit, and like, like, pro, pro Ukraine is bullshit too. But right. they don't really talk about it. Now their attention is all into the um, Israel, Israel and that kind of war. It, oh, the Israeli-Palestinian yeah. thing. Is there is there a, like any protest about that here in yeah. Tokyo? Yeah. Because we're seeing them all over Canada right now. Yeah, we see that. We see that. But I, it, I find it ridiculous. So it's like basically almost more like an anti-war, um, like pro, uh, pro Palestinian. Kind of, um, it's similar. Yeah, so same same thing as in Canada, is happening over here apparently. But it's not that big. Um, it's not that big. No. <laughs> it's massive in Canada. Right. I know. I know. I don't know why though. <laughs> yeah, it's happening in Toronto and in um, and in Ottawa and in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. Lots of people coming out and making it a Canadian issue. It's not a Canadian issue. No. At least in my opinion, it's not. Uh, let's have a look at the comments. K5 Saskatchewan. Pretty hard to get the word out when you refuse to allow the vid to be shared. Uh, is this not allowed to be shared? I, I don't think that's weird. No, I, have, I haven't made any restrictions. Many of the islands in Japan are Russian owned. Used to be Japanese owned. Yeah, well, that, that's why I said there's not a lot of... Russian sentiment in, <laughs> in Japan. You'll often see there's there's nationalistic groups that are that go to the Russian embassy. Actually, I used to live near Azabajuban. Ah, ah, I used yeah, to yeah. live near my yes, yes. So in Azabajuban, there's always protests outside of the Russian embassy, uh, saying, "Give us our islands back." And that's yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah, a con. Yeah, yeah. Either anti-Russia or anti-Korea. Um, 
Anti-Korea. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of that. <laughs> it's amazing. Let's try to get a closer view. I'm zooming in on that. Where'd it go? There it is. Yeah, fuck who? Fuck you. <laughs> Big turnout. Unbelievable. You have no idea what they're saying. Yeah, of course. It's more like an anti-vaccine. Stop the vaccination. Yeah, okay. It's killing people. It's a uh, reducing That's, that's what they're saying. Yeah, like, yes. I, yeah, we're not allowed to say that stuff on YouTube for <laughs> obviously the terms of service uh, reasons. Uh, but that's, you know, these are the, the opinions that are being shared here and, and everyone's entitled to their own opinions. Those people are starting to move in. So what's going on now? Against who's crazy? Yeah, so. <laughs> Pretty big event. Amazing. What was the actual reason why why we went to war? We got pushed to go to war, and we just fought. And while America was not even like being judged for dropping atomic bombs and stuff, we are the only one who got judged and got killed. So the, this is a memorial for those people who you know lead the war. It's not war is always not the good things, but we didn't have much choice other than becoming a slave. So was America. So we had it to go. You know? <laughs> right, so, so they, they're they're actually honoring the uh, the people who were so who were executed war, war criminal, war executed <laughs> after after the war yeah, yeah. Uh, for their role in the war. Yeah. So, right, so it, it's it's like uh, it, it's very similar to the Iraq War. Like it looks like a, uh, it's an Iraqi is running a country, but usually after like after the World War Two. They just did a propaganda, it's called um, War Guilt Information Program. So they just put the kind of fa facade government, they put our constitution, just translated into Japanese, and they just pushed the gunpoint it. So our constitution is not made, of, made by Japanese, made of, by mainly American lawyers. Right. Yeah, so, and then we cannot even change it because it has to be two thirds of, um, Population, entire population, have to vote for no to change the law. It has like to be two thirds. So it's a referendum if, yeah. if they want to change their own right, constitution. Right, right. So we, we, we can't really change it. That's why we cannot even protect our own country legally. So we cannot even call it army. We said a defensive force. Right. So even though it's technically military, um, so it's been like that for 70 years. I, I hope I hope uh, they they start realizing that we were being handled, <laughs> and 
and Japanese work hard and then make money and then they pay tax honestly and then that's all going to the global <laughs> globalist, you know. It's going to a global cabal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Japan was so rich that it, same as Canada, yeah, you don't have to worry about so much to live, so they were not being paying attention. So, but when the things going up the price, economy goes bad, then that's a the time people notice, I guess. <laughs> Well, and that's what's happening in Canada right now. People are starting to wake up because they can't afford to buy food or pay their rent. I mean, I'm, I'm running into the same situation mm -hmm. at home. Uh, I'm, I'm losing my, my place. Yeah, I heard. I, I watched your show. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to leave Canada likely because of this. Uh, does this have to do with uh, Masae Yasu? You know what? Uh, anyway. This meeting? No, I mean he, uh, he's a part. Of, uh, he's a one of the speaker. He he was one of the speaker about this anti-pandemic uh, like pandemic treaty. But he's also um, you know it's, it's kind of a, um, the movement between kind of like a conservative party tried to have Japanese so, like uh, um, autonom autonomy and also some people <laughs> don't want to be vaccinated anymore so two groups are together so I think that's that's a reason why there is a lot of turnout today because usually normal um, um, vaccine anti anti vaccine demo it, it would be like 500 people or so. Like it's <laughs> never been this big. Yeah, um, this is pretty crazy. <laughs> this is a big one. Like I, I was actually surprised that the like the, the cell phones were working. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in, yeah. In honesty. Earlier, my cell phone. I was doing uh, live streaming, and I, it wasn't. It was like bits and pieces. Like it was skipping the sound because the so too, way too many people in one place, and <laughs> the signal was so bad. What else we have for questions here? Yeah. Uh, you should probably wash it. What? <laughs> uh, she doesn't look like Japanese. Actually, ah. you had other people say that earlier yeah, yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, even Japanese people say yeah. that about it. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, she's very Japanese. Uh, <laughs> but Clyde, you live. What? You lived life choices. You got in then. What? In that spot, there's a super place to live other than close to van. More expensive places in Canada. Oh, which is one of the most expensive places in Canada. Yeah, but I, I've, I've already dis I've already um, talked about this. <laughs> you guys, if you move within Canada, you're just gonna move it to one cold place, or another cold place. Another cold place that's very expensive. Yeah, <laughs> and so here, here's the thing: if I have to move towns. There's no difference between me picking up and moving 50 kilometers or moving 50, 5,000 kilometers, right? That's true, that's true. So, and because I'm an American citizen, and I'm... So, because I'm an American citizen, I can live in, in America. Or I can live in Japan. So, it's one of those... <laughs> yeah, Tokyo is so nice. No, Tokyo's not very like it's a, cheap. Like right now, how cheap it is? If it's a US dollar, uh, before like one dollar like goes to hundred yen, almost like one hundred cents or one hundred ten cents, and now hundred like one dollar is one hundred fifty yen. So meaning you can buy things dollar fifty amount things here. So yeah, but if we live here, we are also earning yen. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so. But if you have any saving in Canada, bring it yeah. here, you can buy a house. Yeah, yeah. Well, and there's a lot of abandoned houses. That's that's a, a big thing I've been looking into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there is a lot of choice. Uh, somebody's saying, I, I know this lady. You know me? You know me? <laughs> Do you follow her on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't made a YouTube video for a while because I'm a shadow band. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife is amazing, Clyde. <laughs> she, she's not my wife. No. No, no she's, 
she got in touch with me because she she watches the channel yeah, yeah. and she uh, she said, hey, why don't we get together in Tokyo? There's a big protest happening. <laughs> Come out into Ikebukuro. And so I came. Yeah, yeah. We can make it this one as background, I guess. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> There we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah, quite a big, quite a big event happening. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Blasters, make her your wife. Uh, can't do that. <laughs> Japan probably wouldn't let me stay too long. I don't know why. So that that's that's an interesting thing. Japan's opening up their immigration. Have you heard much news about that? Mm, so we have like. Um, um, so basically we need like a basic workers so kind of opening to like a Vietnam uh, Indonesia Malaysia around that area so only like particular countries uh, no but uh, if you like a uh, Vietnam they they have a lot of younger people and their second language is in the school is now not the English it's the Japanese oh wow so okay. <laughs> many people have basic Japanese uh, skills so they come um, and then they usually help out like the elderies for caregiving mm -hmm. stuff and because we don't have enough of those so they come in as like a five years three years visa and it can be extended to like six years or so and then eventually they get married or whatever and then they stay oh, so, okay so it's um, not it's not wide open immigration like people are talking about is it However, the However recently, okay. <laughs> recently they decided to uh, give out um, like somebody who work online, so somebody who's who can have the income through online. They they give um, they started giving out those e like e worker visa basically. E worker visa. So if you're if you're <laughs> if your money comes in from something on the internet, uh, you can get a visa in Japan. That's uh, what I heard. All the weebs out there, <laughs> get on it, get on your hustle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So living costs would be super cheap here. The food are great, and then you go to a restaurant, you don't have to pay tip with great service. So why not? <laughs> so in Canada, in Canada right now, we're we're just letting in uh, temporary workers, and right, right. and uh, th there's a big problem with the student visas, oh. and then also refugees from all over the oh, place. Yeah, yeah, to the tune of, to the tune of, uh, I think over a million people came into Canada. <gasps> last year Japan, and we, ha we have a lot of but, but Canada's population is only 40 million people right, right, right. so you add a million people to that that's a pretty big deal it's a big deal I guess they tried to cover it up like uh, people who died from a vaccine <laughs> replaced with it <laughs> allegedly allegedly <laughs> excuse me <laughs> that was a Japanese <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah no this is a real problem in Canada so because of this, we have a housing issue. Right, right. We have a big housing problem, yeah. and you know people can't afford houses because there's just too many people in the country now, and there's a, a surplus of people and not enough homes, yeah, yeah. and it's it's exacerbating the situation. Japan doesn't have that issue; they're giving yeah. away homes, right? <laughs> well, that's only countryside. So if you are to work in a city, you still have a you know hard time finding an apartment, nice apartments. Yeah. But uh, if you don't really pick and choose. We, so I recently watched the why Japan has still like it, in Tokyo if you really look for it if you don't mind to take a train about uh, 45 minutes out of the center you can still find a place like uh, Goman it's like oh it's so five hundred dollars something like a like a bachelor suite kind of thing yeah, for it's a like, a, like a one one room like one like one LDK one LDK oh that's so a one bedroom for five hundred dollars in the outskirts of Tokyo so the reason being is that it because uh, they said it. Japan doesn't really have like a too strict. I thought we have a strict uh, regulation for building code, but we don't have building code to like this area can be used for like um, I don't know like a living space, but it also downstairs can be a store. You know, like right. You have a no, business. There is no like a business section here, and then nobody can live here kind of situation. Right. We, like we, we have, have in Canada. Right. Right. So. Zoning and zoning. And yeah, that. that's what I was looking. Um, so zoning code is quite loose here, and and also people like really quick and working. So if let's say 
my my parents' house that they if they want to renovate the bathroom, plumbing and everything can be done in one day. Oh wow! Yeah, like everybody comes in the same day and do it. Get her like done. That, that, because we don't have extra bathroom, so we have to finish it one day. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Fair so enough. So I I went to you know anywhere uh, like in America and I worked for rich people and they were like I've seen bathroom under construction like a month at a time you know yeah yeah and I was like you have to pull permits you have to and so your construction like guy will have to get a permit <laughs> uh, your electrician will have to get a permit your plumber has to get a permit and then like, the cabinet guy has to get a permit the tile guy comes in and then plum, plumber didn't come so then then like then plumber have to come first and then so on so forth and then nothing has been done Japan, when we make a plan, they follow the rules and then timeline. So unless you're countryside and there's no people who work for you, but it's it, it's quite quicker here. That's fair. Um, That's funny. Building house never takes more than a month. I don't think. Building a house. House, like it's already planned out, and then they, they start doing it. I've a noticed. Month or two. Well, I've noticed like some of the foundations will take a while to do. But then, yeah. once the foundation's up, like an entire building will go up yeah. in no time. No time. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> no. So, like efficiency here is crazy. Uh, unless. Yeah, that is crazy. So, like, uh, apparently the regulation and like passing time of those like regulation, I mean, official takes less time here. They, are, they also work hard actually. <laughs> um, so, yeah, building-wise, there's no problem. So, having the cheap apartment, but it's impossible here. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. impossible. So right now, the Trudeau government is saying that they're gonna they're gonna speed along the mm-hmm. the process, and nobody believes it. <laughs> nobody believes it. They say they say well, he's gonna build 1.3 million houses in the next year. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> <laughs> just just import the Japanese. Well, don't do it. Just bring Japanese <laughs> over. <laughs> I, I actually had, I vouch for that one. You get, you get a lot of stuff done. That's for sure. Let's see in the chat. Is there any comments? Huh. Obi loosens his passport. What? Um, let's see. When I finish college, I might try to go back to Asia on a work visa. Mm-hmm. Canada's just getting too crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah many Canadians Japan. don't. They're just done with it. Uh, tell us more about the protest. Uh, oh, protest. Yeah, we can get more into that. So, like, of course, like, it's a bu- gathering bunch of people. So, some people are more into WHO things and um, Japanese, like, auto- autonomy. And other people are more into, like, uh, like what's going on with vaccine and vaccine um, injury. Cause they they are now try to um, is there uh, any lawsuits in Japan over over injuries uh, finally they start because in Canada we have a few now yeah. going no, on we actually have like a, a government to start paying money to the victims so people have been injured yeah 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 so about a couple hundred people are getting paid Oh, okay yeah so but then now they were like oh from April we're gonna reduce the when they they were bringing in this uh, vaccine because of the EUA, Japanese government was like, "Oh, we're gonna pay uh, let's say zero point four million dollar yeah. to somebody who if somebody dies, like they're that confident, like oh, should be okay." And now thousands of people are applying for that. Oh wow! And they were like, "Oh, it's not conclusive," so they were just like avoiding to pay it. But so many cases, they can no longer, um, like... Can't avoid it. Cannot avoid it. Because 12 years old boy, right after getting <laughs> well, shot... Well, we can't, yeah, we can't, can't discuss uh, exactly those <laughs> yeah, yeah, things, yeah. but... Then, you know, somebody passed away all of a sudden. And so there are cases that they cannot even deny the connection. And so they start paying money. And they now are like, oh, the guarantee will now change. So, so the government's acknowledging that, that it's, it's... Acknowledging that, but they keep saying, oh, but it's still so rare. Right, right. Tens of thousands of people, that, that's so rare. So it's just like Canada. They're still pushing it. They're telling people to get yeah. it. So we are taking seven <laughs> times. Seven times. Oh, same in Canada. <laughs> same in Canada. 
They're they're up there. I think they're on seventh think, now at this point. People, people are not that stupid to take it. In Japan, we have elderly who are so not aware. So this is like how much people. I don't know if I can show that. Oh, okay. I, I don't even know if I can show that. <laughs> it, it, yeah, YouTube's really that sensitive about this stuff. Wow. No, no, this one was up in Japanese YouTuber. He was okay, but. It doesn't, yeah. say, it doesn't say what they died for. It's just the amount of people died. I had to I had to do really? like a re education training <laughs> seminar for for yeah, just for oh, showing yeah, yeah, statistics. Canada. Yeah. Uh, you, oh so God. yeah. It, it really is that is that crazy and you know I cannot show it to this one but I can show you to you. You can show it to me. <laughs> so this is like the ET. You still have to be careful what to say. About <laughs> no, I'm not it, saying. You know? So this this is each year. You can share that later with like uh, Twitter. Yeah, I can talk about this on Twitter, no problem. And so this is last year. How much people passed away? So, uh, oh, excess deaths. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it's, uh, yeah. It's excess death uh, mm -hmm. statistics. And Which is something that Marty's been talking about. Uh, in Canada, there. 2023 here. Wow way up. way up so in Canada they've just been withholding the statistics they just <laughs> just not not showing it just not showing yeah. uh, what the statistics are not releasing it to the public yeah. which a lot of people are upset about yeah, mm -hmm. and they were like now changing the um, statistics they, <laughs> they are changing the statistics that guy's excited yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little wee man Yeah, thank you guys for joining in. Yeah. Uh, Trump 2024. Amazingly, there was a bunch of people in Amazing. the protest yeah. with Trump 2024 uh, paraphernalia. There was, uh, I, I got a couple of clips of it. There's one woman had an uh, orange shirt and it said Trump 2024 on it. Had a picture of Trump. And I, we saw some people with the uh, MAGA, MAGA 2024, the 45, 47 on it. <laughs> These people in the chat, MAGA for life. Gorgeous. She's beautiful. Look at that. There you go. I'm single, so if you come to <laughs> Japan, it's very hard to find an um, like, unvaccinated guy here. So Yeah, all, all you based guys. Right there. Right there. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Get in the, get in the comments. <laughs> Trump, Operation Warp Speed uh, should tell you everything. So Operation Warp Speed, now I, I've heard this uh, argument. So Trump was, was one who, uh, he, he put Operation Warp Speed, who said, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna speed it along, we're gonna yeah, get this yeah, going. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it, was, it never came down to mandating anything to anybody. No, no. Never and forcing it, anybody to take he's, anything. He's like still like, you know, like an old elderly man. Who like naive. Like, <laughs> What? Naive, like a naive old man. Naive old man. Like, like he still believes all the. Yeah, yeah, he's he's like um, so, like you know like somebody who who ran the company as they they were younger or something like. Yeah. And like pra, like tried to bra the brag about like oh what I look at what I've done right. Yeah. So yeah. he's still doing that. Oh look at what I've done with up speed. You know, yeah. He's still right. doing that. Like, I know he he hasn't let that one go. I and think Trump, if you're listening, which you probably aren't, <laughs> let that one go. No, let that one Absolutely go. let that one go. Even like his, his supporters, like, hey, stop that. You know, like, he, he thinks that it, as long as he's not mandating, it, it's okay to do it. And it's, it's not. If it, there well, is some toxic, toxic. Well, okay, we can't, we can't say that stuff. Yeah, we no, can't. I, I don't can't say that. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. We can't even mention that. But. Wow, that, that bad? It's that bad. You wouldn't, believe, you wouldn't believe how many people have been booted off the, the platform for that. Yeah, yeah, so you have to be very careful. But I hope you got the tags I sent you on Twitter. I'll have to look. This is actually a very good protest. It is. It's huge. The park was actually really full earlier. We, we went for a long walk. Holy cow, my legs are killing me. Killing me, because I did that live stream earlier today. And then now I'm doing this live stream, <laughs> and it's really grueling. Unless you made it, unless you made it. 
Uh, there, there are elements of this protest that are anti-vax, but for the most part, it's against the World Health Organization pandemic treaty. So the, oh, we're gonna go over there. So yeah, the, the main point of it is to protest against uh, what, what eventually will be, you know, reducing national sovereignty uh, for any country that signs on to this uh, treaty so people can, uh, well, be, be forced to, to do anything. The lockdowns, all of these things were based on recommendations from the World Health Organization, and they're, they're looking to usurp more power. They're looking to get more power. And, and a lot of governments are, are, are latching on to this because it's a great idea for them because then they can release their own liability and tell, you know, tell their own citizens, oh, well, it's not us, it's just this big health organization. We're not really calling the shots. We're letting them take charge on this. And this is why people are upset about it. In Canada, we saw this exactly. We saw them try to blame Oh, oh, we're just, you know, we're just dealing, we're listening to the experts. We're listening to the World Health Organization. We're listening to them. And this is why we're mandating you to lock down in your homes and, and take these experimental, uh, uh, I don't even, I don't even know if I can say what, but, you know, taking, taking uh, medicine against your own will and, and having it forced on people. Now, this is, this is the, the idea that was actually that, that they wanted to do. They, you know, pass the buck, pass the buck on to somebody else. And right now with this World Health Organization treaty is exactly what they're doing. They're passing the buck. So a lot of politicians can just say, well, it, it's not up to me. It's not up to me anymore. It's, it's, the, it's the recommendation of, of this organization. So of course this, this treaty is, uh, is, is a bad idea. And so many people in Japan are waking up to this concept and, and saying, forget it. <laughs> You're seeing signs here. No, <laughs> say no to the who. We are Maine. Absolutely. Thank you so much. How do you get this <laughs> so people, people are tuning into it. People are waking up and saying no. We want our national sovereignty. The Japanese people want their national sovereignty. Canadians want their national sovereignty. Americans want their national sovereignty. All of these, all of these people around the world are waking up to this, and they're saying no, no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna put up with that. Yeah. Who sucks? Yeah. There will be free noodle soup. I'm going to get some noodle soup later. I can't. I'm gluten free, but I will all join. <laughs> oh, you're gluten free. So I'm meeting with my friend in uh, in Daimo later. Do you want to join us? I want to join. Okay, sweet, sweet. <laughs> Greetings from Norway. It's great to see people waking up. Wow, that's amazing. I love, I love to hear that. Yeah, thank you for joining the chat. Clyde, how do we say freedom in Japanese? Jiyu o torimodose. Jiyu. Jiyu. And like getting back, jiyu o torimodose. Torimodose. Nice. By the way, he has a really good Japanese pronunciation. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I, I fake it really well. And so, like, I was fake guessing, it till you make it. That's, that's how you do it. I was guessing, like, because like not many people has good pronunciation. I think he speaks a little bit of Japanese. People like expect you to speak a lot of Japanese, and people yeah. start talking like, and oh yeah, understand. yeah, yeah. I know it's funny. I, that happens to me. I'll, I'll, I'll just say I'll say one or two things, and everyone's just like, "Oh, amazing!" I'll just brrr, motor off on the end, like, ah. Yeah. しかも今日今日じゃなくて、最近あまりなんか日本語喋ってなかった。日本語も喋れないだから、いっぱい忘れてた。あ、わかる。使わないとね忘れるよね。うん、絶対。So I, I've, I've forgotten a lot of Japanese just from not using it. 9.02 a.m. in the Netherlands. I don't know why there is a cosplay guy in front of us. In front of us. Yeah, right. Does it just happen? Tokyo's weird. Tokyo's weird. I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't care. As long as you're doing your own thing. As long as you're doing your own thing. Leave everybody, yeah, whatever. 
Interesting, interesting. <laughs> she <laughs> just pointed out this character here. That's a he. That's a dude. And it's a middle-aged man. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a young guy. Oh, that's funny. Uh, Welcome to Tokyo. It can be crazy at moments. Uh, Clyde, Clyde, do something. Goes international. Well done, mate. Global, and oh. <laughs> Greetings from California, USA. Hello, Massachusetts. Midnight in California. Been watching since the truck protest. Keep up the good work, mate. Thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. And here we are in, in Tokyo actually witnessing one of these protests. Saying, yeah. forget it. No. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a really historical moment in Japan. <laughs> it is. We you, don't, never, you don't see this. We really didn't have this. Like, finally, after three, four years of like, <laughs> 8 a.m. in Scotland. <laughs> Good morning. People in Scotland are watching. Howdy. From Delta. Howdy from Delta, BC. Same, we're probably going to lose you, but I hope <laughs> wherever you go, you keep. Oh, what does it say? You keep helping Canadians by sharing the real news instead of the CBC crud. Yeah, I absolutely will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, by the way, so we have a new vaccine called Replicon vaccine or self amplifying vaccine. Again, <laughs> you got to stay away from these topics. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Sorry. It's it's a YouTube thing. It's just, it's the way it is. New on sale. <laughs> what, what you can say is like, listen, you know, there, there is a thing there's, there's, there's a new product out there. Uh, out go, there. go check out. There's a bunch of information on it. Yeah. Uh, if you want to go to X or oh some God, of these I'm other so platforms. Sorry, I totally forgot about. Keep forgetting. Yeah, I yeah, know. I live in a free world. <laughs> yeah. Right. Different platforms. So I'm sorry. But so that, those are the nicely new study is done in America too. So please check it out. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Hi, Clyde. I'm watching you from Corpus Christi, Texas. Oh, Texas. Texas. I've been there. I might, I might end up your neighbor. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, we'll see. Yeah, we're actually looking at Texas. Uh, we're looking at Texas. Which part? Um, Austin, yeah. uh, San Antonio area. Man, people from everywhere in the chat. Yeah, super happy. What do we got here? We got FJB. I'm one of Fry's biggest fans from Canada, Ontario. Yay! Yeah, I was just fun and today I met him. Yay! Clyde, does she have a web page? Where can people find you? Yeah, where can people find you? On YouTube or so mine is just any any site you can look look at Rimo R I M O Y O K O Rimo Yoko. Can I type in? <laughs> yeah, uh, let's see. I don't know if I can type that in. Oh, I guess not. No. Some, can, you, can somebody type in R I M O Y O K O? There we go. Y -O -K -O. Yeah, somebody oh, yes. spelled it. Rimo Yoko. Yes, that's it. Everett, that's exactly right. So. Thank you. So that's that. So you can find me on Twitter, YouTube page. Yeah, if you go on YouTube and type in Rimo Yoko right away, this is the first thing that pops up, actually. Uh, talk to Lewis Rosman, YouTuber. He moved last year from New York to Texas. I didn't know he moved to Texas. I thought he moved to, like, Maine. Oh, I love watching his show. I didn't know he moved to Texas, though. That's... Texas is like the new California. Yeah, 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 it is. But people are worried about that because, you know, Louis. lefties will keep coming in and they'll bring in, bring in lefty politics to California, to Texas. Sean G says, tell Remo she's beautiful. Oh, thank you. I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> Import me. <laughs> Import me. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> or you can, or you can come to Japan and have yes, a, yes. have a beautiful waifu. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Uh, Viva held, headed south too. Yeah, he's in Florida. Uh, I was asking. I, I sent a message to Viva before. Do you know who Viva Fry is? Oh, he's another Canadian YouTuber. Okay. Uh, he was from. He came out of Montreal, uh -huh. and then he ended up moving to Florida. <laughs> and I, I, I asked him, I, I sent him a message saying, hey, I, you know, thinking about moving to the U.S., maybe Florida, maybe Texas, what do you think? And he says, 1,000% uh, do it. <laughs> good, good, good. It's Florida, there's not even tax, right? Florida, there's lots in of uh, property tax. Oh, property no tax is really tax high. I don't know what their income tax is. No I'm not income sure. tax. There's there no? No income I, tax. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Nevada, there's no income tax. There are a few. There are a few. Yeah, Texas has really low taxes. Right, right, right. And the house is, like, there is, is there no house shortage in the, the Texas? The what, sorry? No, like, uh, house shortage in Texas. No, I don't think so. Good. Florida is... And everything's <laughs> bigger than life in Texas. That's... <laughs> that is true. That is so true. I could get a small house and be, be fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah, Rimo Yoko channel shows a stream but says two hours ago. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did so, a very short time, but because I'm a shadow ban in YouTube, there's only a few people can watch it. So I, I switched to my normal Japanese platform, which is like, which could bring in like 500 people. So yeah, I, I still have the channel <laughs> to keep my videos. <laughs> no, yeah, if you want to go back and watch that other live stream, go to my Twitter page. I oh, yeah, tweeted yeah. it out. So the link's there and you should be able to still watch it. Yes. Uh, yeah, there. <laughs> should we step out? Like, my legs are done. My legs are dead. <laughs> I think maybe we should... Um, get out. We're going we're gonna to get a move on. I want to thank everybody for coming out to the in, impromptu live stream as we, as we join this, uh, this protest here. Um, we're going to move along. I meet up with Haynes, and I'm gonna get some ramen. <laughs> Probably one of the best ramens I know of in uh, in Daimo. I just wanna smell it, and I guess we'll be satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> ramen, ramen's good. So, so we're gonna we're gonna go catch a train. Uh, talk to you guys next time. <laughs>